Hello, this is Virginia Swain from the Institute for Global Leadership. We were founded on 9-11 after the World Trade Center attack, but I had a dream. I had a dream of a phoenix rising out of the ashes of Ground Zero the night after the attack when I was in New York that day. I sat with that dream for 17 years. And finally, I was moved to, to act in a way that would give people hope and support for the message the Phoenix told me. The Phoenix in the dream told me that the world is missing its moral and spiritual sustenance, substance and needs to be reminded that there is a global soul. The Phoenix is the global soul of the world. And it supports what I've been doing all those years at the UN before 9-11 starting and implementing reconciliation leadership, a leadership that draws on everyone's sacred space inside of them, whether they're Muslim or Jewish or Christian or Zoroastrian, anyone who, who comes and feels a sense of destiny and wants to be trained as a reconciliation leader in this world can do so. So I just wanted to bring those two ideas together. The Phoenix bring hope and sustenance and, and um, a sense of the possibility of recovering our moral and spiritual essence and reconciliation leadership, a way to do that. On the homepage of our website, www.global-leader.org, Dr. Sara Saeed is pictured a Muslim woman who won the Life Leadership Service Award this year. She has been trained as a reconciliation leader and she has been leading in New York City, the Civic Engagement Center Commission, sorry, and also is a task force member of the first municipal inclusion and equity task force. Sarah talks about building trust, the essential component of the cohesion that is needed in communities and states and governments. Cohesion and trust. How can we build that without the spiritual and moral essence of the world that's in each one of us? So I wanted just to say how wonderful it is to work with people who are so motivated and bring such hope and peace, first to themselves and then to the world. And in the word, words of Arnold Toynbee, civilizations fail. He studied 21 of them, fail when we've lost our sense of spiritual and moral integrity. So I wanted to just offer this message to the world at the end of 2021 and into 2022. Thank you very much.